Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, July the 12th. It's Year 1, Proper 10, and Week 2 of the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 95, 1 Samuel chapter 19, verse 1 to 18, and the Song of Zechariah, Luke 1, verse 68 to 79. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, come ring out our joy to God. Alleluia, Psalm 95. Come ring out our joy to God and hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before God giving thanks. With songs let us hail Yahweh. A mighty God is Yahweh, a great king above all the gods in whose hands are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains as well. The sea belongs to God who made it, and the dry land shaped by God's hands. Come in, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for this is our God, and we are the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Oh, that today you would listen to God's voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your ancestors put me to the test, when they tried me, even though they had seen my work. Forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said their hearts have gone astray. They do not know my ways, so I swore in my anger they shall never enter into my rest. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Come, ring out our joy to Yahweh. Alleluia. The lesson is from the first book of Samuel, chapter 19, beginning at verse 1. Now Saul spoke with his son Jonathan and with all his servants about killing David. But Saul's son Jonathan took great delight in David. And Jonathan told David, My father is trying to kill you. Therefore be on guard tomorrow morning. Stay in a secret place and hide yourself. I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where you are, and I will speak to my father about you. And if I learn anything, I will tell you. Jonathan spoke well of David to his father Saul, saying to him, the king should not sin against his servant David, because he has not sinned against you, and because his deeds have been of good service to you. For he took his life in his hands when he attacked the Philistine. And Yahweh brought him a great victory for all of Israel. You saw it and rejoiced in it. Why then will you go and sin against an innocent person by killing David without cause? And Saul heeded the voice of Jonathan. Saul swore, As Yahweh lives, he shall not be put to death. And so Jonathan called David and related all of these things to him. And Jonathan then brought David to Saul, and he was in his presence as before. Again there was war, and David went out to fight the Philistines. He launched a heavy attack on them, so that they fled before him. And then an evil spirit from Yahweh came upon Saul as he sat in his house with his spear in his hand, while David was playing music. Saul sought to pin David to the wall with the spear, but he eluded Saul so that he struck the spear into the wall. And David fled and escaped that night. Saul sent messengers to David's house to keep watch over him, planning to kill him in the morning. David's wife, Michael, told him, if you do not save your life tonight, tomorrow you will be killed. So Michael let David down through the window and he fled away and escaped. Michael took an idol and laid it on the bed and she put a net of goat's hair on its head and covered it with clothes. And when Saul sent messengers to take David, she said, he is sick. And then Saul sent the messengers to see David for themselves. He said, bring him to me in the bed that I may kill him. When the messengers came in, the idol was in the bed with the covering of goat's hair on its head. Saul said to Michael, Why have you deceived me like this and let my enemy go so that he has escaped? And Michael answered Saul, 
he said to me, Let me go. Why should I kill you? Now David fled and escaped, and he came to Samuel at Ramah and told him all that Saul had done. He and Samuel went and settled in Naoth. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world, for Joe and Tom and Alan, and for all of our church leaders, for this gathering, for all ministers and people, for peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations, for the well-being of all people, and for justice and peace. For the poor, the sick, especially Stephen Michael and Melody, for the oppressed, for those in prison, and those in any need or trouble. For the aged and the infirm, especially Ronald Francis and Marjorie. For the mercy of God community, and for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found. I ask your prayers for the departed, for all who died. That God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who have asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are you, God of Israel. Alleluia. The Song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, God of Israel. You've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the servant, David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old, you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promise to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, God of Israel. Alleluia. Alleluia, we trust in the mercy of God forever. Alleluia. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.